Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. As you can tell, we are not in Utah right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Sorry to pause your video really quick, but I wanted to throw out there something really quick, uh, something that would add some value to this video that you're gonna be watching. We do have a link in the description below, so click down on the description. It will be at the very top. It's a link that will take you to put in some information, your name and your email, and we'll email you a 3D tour of this trailer. It's very cool to, if you've never done one of those, you gotta go check it out. We also have a brochure and that will give you all the specs, all the information. There might be some things that I don't go over in the tour, but in the brochure, you'll have a bunch of information, show the floor plan, as well as some of the pricing. There's different options that you can add, but we'll have some information in the brochure. So go check that out. Once again, it's in the link in the description below. If you're watching on your television, you're gonna have to pull out your phone or your computer or your tablet and go to the description in the video below and at, right at the top, you'll be able to click on that link and get more information. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully I go over most of the details you wanna know, but you're definitely not gonna be able to see the floor plan like you will on the brochure or that 3D tour. So go check that out. Thank you and hopefully you enjoy this video. See you later, bye-bye. We're actually at the manufacturing plant for the product Pause by Palomino. Today, I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna be going through a full in-depth walk around and tour of the all new 21.4. Okay, if this is the very first video you're seeing on a pause, I just wanna let you know we have tons of videos on pause. We've done factory tours, we've gone to uh, more eye to see how the suspension and the frame is put together. We've done a lot of filming on this product from pretty much from the ground up to the walls, the composites and everything that goes into building one of these trailers. You'll wanna go check out those playlists and watch some of those factory tours. If you're really interested in this product, you can kind of see how everything is built and what goes into building a pause. I'm gonna go over some of those details as I'm walking around and showcasing this trailer. But you know, if you wanna dig in even more, if you're really serious about this trailer, you'll wanna go check that stuff out. So this is the, the model is an Interlude XC 21.4 just so you know all the pause floor plans are all labeled with the xc and then there's a set of numbers the xc stands for cross country and the 21 is the box length and then the 0.4 is how many it sleeps so if you're looking at any pause that's kind of a quick reference you know that it can go cross country anywhere you want to go and you got a kind of an idea of how long the box is and how many people it sleeps. So we have a 21 foot box. The total length from tip to tip is 25 feet and 10 inches. The width on the trailer is 102 inches and that's total width side to side. The GVWR, which is the gross vehicle weight rating, is at 9,459 pounds. You have a cargo capacity of just over 1,500 pounds. You can go to our website, you can check out the specs, go to roaoffroad.com, and you can get all these details and download some information on it. The dry weight is 7,909 pounds. Obviously, there are some different options that the pause can offer, as well as ROA off-road. So that could change your weights, but right under 8,000 pounds dry weight, your hitch weight is weighing in at 1,170 pounds. The freshwater tank is massive, coming in at 76 gallons of fresh water. This is an off-road and off-grid trailer, and it is extremely capable. The overall clearance at the lowest point, if you have this suspension maxed out, is 20 five inches. That's insane. The departure angles on the back is over 30 inches. Just so you understand that you're talking stock Jeep Wrangler departure angles. Like this trailer, it has been made for off-road. We have a manufacturer, not of pause, another manufacturer that was looking at it. And he just came through and he said, man, this, this manufacturer, this trailer is impressive. He says, I don't even know how they can sell them for what they're selling them. I know it's, it seems like an expensive trailer when you compare it to run of the mill stuff in Indiana, but when you really go down and break down every single piece and component and part, the trailer is actually pretty incredible. It is definitely, here at ROA, we pride ourselves in carrying 
really the best trailers in the world and we have some ability to actually stand behind that statement because we have seen pretty much every trailer made in the world okay so moving over to here i'm going to just start walking through and showing you everything on this this is a compartment door super heavy duty luggage latches with metal strikers and also metal strikers here lots of trailers you'll see you know in america and in indiana that they use little plastic ones or little twist handles and they're just super cheap this is a very premium handle and then you have a nice gasket around here this is just a small little storage compartment that you can put some extra stuff in and right next to it you also do have a water hot and cold and that's for your outside kitchen which i'll show you in one second we're on a very off camber area so the trailer is really low at this point but you can actually adjust the suspension when we took the, the pause and the brooder out we were measuring the suspension travel and the actual lift on this is 11 and a half inches so it has the ability to go from all the way down to all the way up almost a foot of lift the brooder by the way was at nine and a half inches so really really good amount of travel in the real world we've been testing these things and seeing how they do but this door over here opens up and there is a little latch right here and it comes back and clips in right there and holds the door open and then this is the outside kitchen and this track system is built by Moride, which Moride has been around for a long time, better part of a <laughs> half a century. And they make some of the best tracks, components for trailers, suspensions. So that comes out, slides right here. This guy comes out like that. And then you flip this around and I'll pull this out to show you the kitchen sink itself. So this is a nice prep space. As I mentioned, this is in a very, very low position right now. If I was camping, I would lift this up probably, you know, at least 10 inches so I can be cooking right here. This tray comes out like that and mounts right there. And then you have an outside sink. And this right here is your faucet. And that clips into right here and gives you hot and cold water. You also have this Truma, which is a 69 liter, and this is a dual zone. So it has fridge and freezer compartments. So you, that means you can adjust the temperature on either side and have this one colder, this one a little bit warmer for maybe drinks or meats or vice versa. You have the ability to also use a Truma app on your phone and be able to control this. And Truma, when it comes to RV components, water heaters, furnace, ACs, fridges, Truma really has built a reputation for being one of the best component manufacturer in the world. They're a German company. Uh, I can't remember what it was, something like over 70 or 80% of all of their uh, employees are engineers. So they're very, very proud of what they make. This thing runs at like a max of 6.3 amps. So it's super efficient as well. And then of course you have a guard right here for cooking. You do have a Greystone grill, and this thing puts out a lot of BTU heat. And I love how it actually has a, a grill portion and a griddle, so you can cook eggs or pancakes right here. And then over here, you can do your, you know, your hot dogs and your steaks or, or whatever, opposed to it all being one or the other. You have that ability to use both. And then this comes around and gives you a little bit of a wind blocker. And then of course, you have a catch for your grease. This unit is the very first 21.4. It's the prototype. Maynard has actually put thousands of miles on this trailer right here, and he's used it, it's camped in. So this is not pristine, brand new trailer, but he has, well, like I said, used it. Maynard is the visionary behind Paws. He's the one that has created this. We've been hanging out with him all day, and when he was talking with his colleagues and his boss was like, he said, build it as if it was your own trailer, how you would want it. And that's what he's done. Maynard has like really went out and put the most premium components and almost everything on this trailer. If he's seen it as in his opinion was the best, he's put it in it. Um, and he's done a really good job. Anyway, lots and lots of details. But over here, we do have our propane water, hot and water connections. Right here, we have a light for the outside that you can turn on. One of the things that's really neat about this trailer 
and I'll get more into it as I'm walking around, is it's all controlled by Garmin. And Garmin is a very, very reputable company. They have, they originated really in the marine and aviation industry. And that's kind of where they're famous more than anything else is in marine and aviation. Uh, we have a lot of people reaching out to us that are pilots or in the military and they say, hey, Garmin, Garmin's like one of the best systems out there. And that's what controls everything on the pause. As you can see, it's controlled by Garmin. The lights, the suspension, the AC, all of the components in this trailer are run and operated through a Garmin control panel, and I'll show you that in a bit. But coming over here, we have a large, the, these are the 30 pound propane tanks. So, and then you have an automatic transfer switch. All of this area up here is aluminum. This is a really nice, robust compartment. And right here, you have an area to add some storage, and you can strap it down with these. As you can see, we have these nice looking windows, these are polycarbonate dual pane windows, and that's throughout the entire trailer. All the windows on the trailer are polycarbonate and dual pane. Poly Some people might ask, why polycarbonate, why plastic? Polycarbonate is much stronger than glass, and when you're in an off-road situation, you know, if rocks are flying up and gonna be hitting things, tractors, airplanes, yachts, typically are using polycarbonate. It's generally much, much stronger. The brake resistance is, I think it's over 100 times stronger than glass. So it, it, is, it is better for off-road. So moving up to here, we have a very unique hitch. This hitch is built by Moride, and it is an articulating hitch. And there's a lot of different cool hitches on the market. If you watch our videos, if you're familiar with us here on ROA, we've been really pioneers in the off-road world. We, over five years ago, started carrying a brand that was made in China, but said they were Australian. And we got really familiar with this product. We moved on from Black Series and started carrying actually Australian-made trailers from the Kimberly campers to Patriot campers. And then we synced up with a really cool manufacturer out in Wisconsin called Imperial Outdoors. They started, you know, building really, really good off-road trailers. But as we've kind of progressed through all of these, we've seen lots of different hitches, lots of different types of suspensions. And here at ROA, it's really fun because we've been able to be on the forefront and seeing all of these different things evolving and getting better and better and better. And I don't think there's necessarily one thing is the best. I think it's all about purpose and what you're trying to achieve. But this hitch right here is an American made hitch, which is really cool. We have cruise masters and make hitches, which I think are phenomenal hitches, but this is an American made kind of a competitor to these now, but this is a ball hitch, but it does articulate side to side and more ride now has a patent hitch that actually moves up and down. It's a two and five sixteenths. So you have a full articulating hitch that can actually mount into your standard ball that you would have wherever you're at. And then you can actually move this forward and you can lock it and engage it so it's not articulating. So when you're on the highway, it stays more sturdy. Of course, you have your chains, breakaway cable, and your electric tongue jack. You have controls right here. And you can also control this through the Garmin, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. And over on this side, we have a storage compartment. This is also access to be able to get to your electric jack in case you were to have an issue. You could manually crank this with a tool. And then of course you have some storage space here and storage space in here. A lot of people ask, you know, the Garmin, it's really cool. It comes with this tablet or it's mounted on the wall. And they say, hey, what, what happens if that tablet stops working? Well, the cool thing, as I've been mentioning about Garmin, is you also have a phone app. So if you want, you can download the app and you can control everything off the app. Everything in this trailer can be controlled in this app. As if I go in over here and click on my lights right there, I can click on this guy right here, which is light bar, or you can do it right here. It says front light bar. So there it is. And now you can check up here and you can see there's a massive light bar up there. Now say I'm off-roading or say I'm just pulling into camp and it's late, it's dark and I can't see. I'm over on my driver's side and I wanna light up my camp. I can click on the Garmin and boom, these lights right here light up and I can control all of this on my phone or I can go inside and there's a display inside that I can control there. I really, really appreciate this being on my phone because while I'm driving, I have the ability to turn on lights and turn off. I also have the ability if it's in the middle of the summer and we're gonna stop for lunch, 
I have the ability to turn on the air conditioner while I'm driving in my truck. I can pull this up and just like turn the AC on. Let's get it set to 70 degrees. Hey, say we're going to go take a shower. Let's turn on the water heater, the water pump, get everything going and ready for us when we get to camp. Really cool capability with the Garmin. Can also check my battery, my solar, what's happening while I'm driving down the road. And this is very, very cool. People love this system, but they're always like, well, what if it breaks? What if you, what if the system, the whole Garmin system goes down? The nice thing is everything does have manual overrides. As you can see, this is a stabilizer jack. And then same thing with the suspension. Uh, there's also a port where if the airbags were ever to not be working properly, you could actually adjust the airbags with a compressor or with an air pump. It has an onboard compressor and an air tank, and that air tank is always pumped up. It's a 12 gallon air tank, and it has a 120 PSI right here at this point right here. So you can blow up, air up your tires, you can air up a raft or bicycles. Say something failed and it wasn't working, you would still have at least 12 gallons of air to be able to adjust these airbags before you ran out of that air. So there are a lot of redundancies that allow you to be able to adjust the system manually and where you don't have to always be working everything through the Garmin, which is very nice. And that's what you want when you have an off-road trailer or an off-road vehicle, you wanna be able to have some extra backups in case one thing fails. Coming over here, I do wanna show the inside of this. This is just the other side of the kitchen. Obviously you don't have all of this storage space because when the kitchen comes in, it comes to about right here, but you do have a little bit of storage space right here that you can put some stuff in. You also have an outlet right there that you can plug in and then a light as well with an automatic sensor so it will turn on when you open the door. The power, I'll talk more about the power as we work towards the back, but you do have an inverter so everything will work completely off grid. And all these doors, you can slam because they got metal latches, as I mentioned earlier. I really appreciate that. I had a, a motorhome a few years back. This was a $300,000 motorhome, brand spanking new. All the latches were plastic. I had people coming in, customers coming to look at it, and they would slam it and the latches would break. Oh, it was so frustrating. I was like, how can you do something like that? So little details like that, you don't always see that, even when you're talking very premium, expensive motor coaches here in the US. Over here, we do have, this is the exhaust port for the Truma, and this is the Truma ducted heater. That's something new on all the pauses that they're doing, is they're making them all four seasons, so they're ducting heat into the underbelly where the water tanks are, where the black and gray tanks are. They're also ducting and putting heat ducts all throughout the trailer. They have taken the paws, this actual unit right here, over to Truma. And Truma has a chamber where they can pull this in and do testing on it. They can get it to 10 below zero and test to see where all the weak points are. They stay tuned, we have some of that info coming out to kind of showcase how capable it is in extreme temperatures now. The fact that they're taking this over to Truma and saying, hey, put this into your chamber, test it, find the weak points so we can improve upon it. That's pretty cool and they have. They've actually added some things to it when they took it to do that testing to make it more capable in cold weather. Right here, this is your water heater. This is the Aqua Go by Truma. This is a on-demand, which means when you turn on the water, it senses that and it starts giving you pressure. But also, this is an instant on-demand hot water heater. So it has a circulating pump. So it actually circulates the hot water right to the tap. So the second you open it, it's instantly hot at the tap. A lot of on-demand hot water heaters don't do that. They actually will turn on and engage. And so you'll end up wasting, you know, a few cups of water before the element turns on and engages. So that's a cool little feature that Truma has on these. Talking about the tires while we're right here, Goodyear Wrangler tires, and they are 225.75, and they have a 16 inch rim with electric drum brakes. Also, they come all with TPMS monitoring. So while you're driving down the road, you can be able to track your PSI. We have a couple, they use their paws to go up to the Arctic Ocean, up into Alaska, you know, they traveled from, I think, Pennsylvania all the way to Alaska. And I remember they were doing, following that and tracking all the, the TPMS and, and seeing where the pressures were. And that's really important because usually when you have a major failure, it's usually because you're not properly maintaining or monitoring things like you should. So moving over here, we have solar ports. And this is for briefcase panels. 
you can option this trailer to a few different things as far as power goes, battery banks and solar. On top of the roof here, that we have at 800 watts of solar on the 21.4. This is a little bit longer than the previous model, so there's more solar up there. But you also have something that they've done to improve the solar efficiency is on, there's a rack, and up there you can see kind of along the rack, you see the little emblems of the paws. They've elevated the panels and they've put them across the roof. And what that does is it creates airflow to go under there. So they don't get too hot and overheat. And that's the way you get the most out of solar panels is by elevating them off the roof. And if 800 watts is not enough, well, you can plug in more solar here. They do have an option where you can get some extra briefcases and get another 600 watts, 1400 watts, which is a lot of solar. Moving over to here, we have the black and gray tank. And these, both of these tanks are 30 gallon tanks. Now, one of the cool things is we can option some different toilet options here at ROA Off-Road and allow you to have different toilet options if you don't want a black tank. But the black tank outlet is down here and it's tucked away right up by the wheel well. So you, it would be very, very hard to ever hit that or damage that in an off-roading situation. I think it would be near impossible. And like I mentioned earlier, the departure on these trailers are best in class. They have insane amount. I, I don't remember the exact numbers. I know it was over 30 degrees. My power wagon, which is lifted with a Carly suspension, I think is around 34, 35 degrees, which is insane. That's like lifted Jeep territory. And this is a trailer. So your departure is unbelievable. Like when we've taken this off-roading, we don't get it anywhere near hitting or scraping the butt of it. Right here, we do have a sewer hose storage container. And then of course you have your stabilizers in the back. I love the details of the pause symbol on the mud flap. And then up here we have our wheel wells, which are steel. And as you can see, you have an access ladder so that you can get up there. And there is a decent amount of space to move around up there to be able to get to the panels if you wanna clean them off, or if you ever need to get up there to service the roof or anything on the roof. You do also have the 360 vents that go over your exhaust. And that's a little touch, a little detail that you don't see on most trailers. Typically, they're just using a cap that covers it. But the 360 ones are a lot more expensive and they're just a little bit more premium. That's kind of the reoccurring theme that I feel like you'll see in a pause. Maynard and the team, they're not looking to figure out like how can we make this cheaper and put in cheaper stuff into it. They're looking at like, hey, what's the best products out there? What's the most premium stuff that we can put on and make it really the best trailer? That's kind of their goal. Obviously, the best is not always the best for everybody. You know, it depends on what fits your needs, what type of vehicle you're gonna be towing with. Obviously, if you're looking at a 21.4 or 20.3, 20 20.2, you're gonna want a big heavy duty truck, a diesel, ideally 2,500. If you're looking at a small trailer or something that's more agile and tight spots, obviously this is not the trailer for you. That's very relevant. I, I, I don't like saying the best all the time, even though I do, but it's always best for this situation. Another thing that I wanna point out is the perimeter cameras. You have 360 cameras and it comes with a monitor that you can use to put into your truck or if you're at night, you want a camera so you can be able to see what's around you. You'll be able to see on every angle of the trailer. The back camera also has sound so you can hear outside. And if you are using it as a backup camera, whoever is guiding you can actually talk to you, which is pretty cool. Let's move over to these compartment doors and point out some stuff in here. We do have, this is access to the backside of the shower. You do have a filter in here and you also have your water pump just nice and easy to access things. All of this area is also heated, so it's not going to freeze in cold temperatures. Right here, you have your 30 amp plug where you would hook up to shore power, or if you're at a campground, you can run your air conditioner through there or your appliances, or you can run it all off grid. This is what is called your wet bay. This is a Nautilus P4. This is a pretty cool system. We have this in our other trailers, our other flagship premium trailers like the Romer One, the Imperial trailers use this as well. Essentially, this just gives you these valves and you can adjust these valves according to the sign right here to be able to do dry camping, fill, city. You can also winterize right through these valves. We also do have a shower where you can plug this in right here and you can have hot and cold. 
and you also have a water pump switch to be able to turn on your water pump here, or you can do it on your phone, on your Garmin, or inside. Right here you have a port or a, a hole that accesses to be able to run a water hose through here, and it actually comes down out here, underneath right there, and that just makes it so you can shut the door and not have the hose coming through the door. While we're down here, I wanna point out we have these recovery hooks and these are integrated into the frame. Now, speaking of frame and the underbelly of this trailer, it's really, really incredible. You can look right here, these gussets of the frame and this is all aluminum. This is a massively strong frame and it's all huck riveted. All of these, which is the similar to what you're going to see on a semi truck or a bridge, like a suspension bridge. The reason they've done this huck riveted opposed to welding is you're not going to have bad welds, right? If, if the welder, because when you're welding things together, a lot of time it's dependent upon how the welder is feeling that day, whether he does a good job or a bad job. Hopefully he's always doing a good job. Whenever you do a huck riveted, it's always gonna be the same. It's gonna be consistent. You're not gonna have that human error. We went over to the Moride factory and got a tour of them putting this frame together and we saw it. You know, they had machinery where it was sending the frame through, laser cutting out every single hole and then they put everything together. It's overbuilt. Like the thing is unbelievably robust. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's a really cool tour. If you wanna go see that, check out the factory. And then Moride has built a suspension system on it that has 12 inches of travel. It's an independent airbag system, all operates through the Garmin. It has two blisting shocks on each control arm and limiting cables so it doesn't overextend your shocks. The suspension is really, really, really cool. The amount of travel, we've taken this off-roading quite a bit and the amount of travel that you see on this is really, really crazy. We recently, when we were taking this off and comparing it to the Bruder, the travel on this is actually, there's more travel on this than the Bruder when we were off-roading and going down obstacles. Moving over here, we have a spot where you can put a high lift jack. And then of course you have your two spare tires as well. These are put on a mount and they swing out of the way so you can access them stuff here that I'll show you in a bit. Pop this up first and drop this down and you have a tray or a workstation, whatever you wanna use this for. You can put that out of the way. And then right here, this one opens as well. And when it goes out, it locks in place with another point. And then these right here are switches for lights right there. And then this one is for a light inside this area. This is a storage compartment and this opens up and you have lights right up here. I can turn on from the switch. And then this lever comes down and these stairs fall down and then they actually flip around and then you can adjust the height of these to give you support and climb into here. I wanna point out you do have an outlet right here that will work off your inverter. And then you also have a 12 volt, which is wired directly to your battery. So you can be able to charge things while en route without your inverter on. You also have some hooks. This right here is for boots. These hooks right here come off and you can be able to access and utilize these in other spots in the trailer. Over here, we have a good storage area. And right here we have the central back hose and then also a vent fan up here as well to be able to ventilate this area. Obviously this is for some boots or waders. If you get some wet or moist stuff in here, you can hang up to dry and you can open up that vent to be able to try and air it out. Okay, now what's behind this door is the question that everybody wants to know. I love these magnets just because they hold the doors up nice and smooth and easy. Right here, we have a system, very, very cool system. This is all beautiful blue Victron components. This is your 3000 watt inverter, and it's also a charger. So if you're plugged in at a campground, you're gonna be able to charge your batteries through this. If you're unplugged, 
and you have no shore power, you can turn this on and this will allow you to run your microwave, your air conditioner, anything that you would plug into an outlet will run through this inverter system. Right here, we also have some other things. This is our distribution box. This is our Serbo GX. This has a cellular a SIM card in it and it actually has the ability to sync via cellular or satellite to be able to reach out to uh, Victron and be able to access your system and tell you what's going on, what's wrong, if it's working, if it's not working. It also has memory and storage on this so it actually takes everything in here and keeps that data so it knows exactly what is going on in, with your system. Over here we have our DC to DC solar charger. What this will do is it will take the power from your truck alternator as it drives through the seven pin and it will send the amperage back to the battery bank and charge it while you're driving down the road. Over here we have our solar charge controllers and we have two of them. The reason we have two of them is one is for dedicated to the roof. It's a 50 amp solar charge controller and the other one is dedicated to the briefcase panels so you can be able to put more solar out on the ground and then behind this you have battle born batteries now you can option this in two different ways these are the game changer 3.0 they're 270 amp hour battle born lithium batteries so you have the option to either have 500 or a 1080 amps of lithium if you're new to the trailer world, if you're new to the RV world, that is unbelievable. There's only a few trailers on the market that have battery banks like this. And believe it or not, all of them are at our ROA off-road. The Imperial Outdoors, the Romer One, the Romer X, and the Paws. As far as battery banks go, they really are best in class for any trailers. The only thing that you might compare it with is a Bruder or an earth roamer and those trailers are way more expensive and not quite as good as these ones so right here this hook that i showed you on the inside you can bring it out here and use it to hook up stuff out here as well moving over here in the 21.4 this is a bunk bed model and it does have bunk beds inside and because of that you gain a lot of space underneath one of the bunk beds and this becomes a massive storage area i i love this because you, you you can never have too much storage when you're off-grid camping and going for long cross-country trips. Moving over here, we have the Max Tracks. This opens up and becomes a table as well. And these Max Tracks rest right on top of the wheel well and give you the ability to just have a nice prep space or a table to put things on. You also could have a uh, TV going if you wanted to do tailgating and you have an outlet right there to be able to plug your television in. And also, if you're at a park campground and you're using cable or you're using a satellite, or you could also just do Starlink. Uh, here at ROA Off-Road, we have a proprietary Starlink system that we can install on your trailer for you. The other thing that I do wanna point out here is you have your camera, which is your door side. Like I mentioned earlier, you have front and back and also driver side. You have radio speakers out here. And then of course, some lighting. Now I'm gonna open my Garmin app back up and show you something cool about this light that you don't see on a lot of trailers. So I just opened up my phone app and I went to the light page and you can see this is your light. And if I turn on, I can have a white light or I can have an amber light. And that typically deters bugs away from your trailer. So at night, you're not gonna be attracting the bugs to your trailer as much. And lastly, before we head inside, I wanna go over the awning and the door. First, the awning opens by a press of a button, which is on my phone. Of course, I can go in the trailer and use the tablet that's mounted to the wall, or I can use a secondary tablet that I purchased, or I can just use my phone, which is pretty simple and easy. These awnings are massive. These are some of the most expensive, most premium awnings you can buy on the market. Also, you have a awesome awning light that goes all along here. And also, if it gets a little windy, you have awning wind sensors. So it has a sensor and you can set it, you can turn it on or off, or you can set it at different variable speeds 
where, where if it's low winds or high winds, it will automatically retract and hopefully you won't lose your awning in a windstorm. So moving over towards the door, we have a keyless entry. You have a code that you can actually press or and you can set it up to anything you want and be able to lock the door. And it does lock the deadbolt, which is important because these are more of a generic lock and they're easier to break into. The deadbolt is not generic. It's very specific to the trailer and that controls that. Coming in here before we go in, I wanna showcase the screen door. And then you also have this window on the door with a blind that will black it out at night and keep the light out. So coming in here, we'll open the screen door. This right here is a more ride step system. And I really like this model because it's really easy to adjust the steps on the fly. There's a button right here. And if you just push this button, it locks in like that. So you can see that at different positions. So when you get to camp, you're gonna drop your stairs down and you're gonna say, you know, that's a little too high. So you're just gonna grab this and you're gonna adjust it up to a lower position and super, super easy to get your stairs adjusted because you want them sitting flush on this platform right here. And these steps are very large and sturdy and easy to walk up. You know, growing up RVing myself with my family, most stairs hang off the door or hang off the bottom of the trailer. They're in this metal box and you gotta grab them and yank them and they bifold out. And if you're off-roading, inevitably, you knock the stairs off. That seems to be what happens more often than not. They're always the weakest point of the trailer. In, in this, you don't, you clearly don't have anything to knock off. They completely tuck out of the way, but when they do come down, they're very strong and sturdy. As you walk in, you have a nice grab bar right here. A little while back, we actually drilled out a piece of the wall and we put a screw into it and we had a tug of war con competition between one of our techs and myself. And we were yanking on it with pliers, trying to pull the screw out of the wall. These walls are unbelievably dense. So this, this right here has six screws on it. I don't think it would be possible for this to rip out. I've seen, and I, and I just say this because I've seen handles over time get ripped out of walls, but because of the walls and the material that they're using on the paws is so, so dense, that I don't think you're ever going to have issues. And clearly you can see that this has a wrap. And, and a lot of people are you know, worried about how, how is that wrap gonna hold up. It has a, a UV ink as, as well as a clear coat. And they do give a pretty long warranty on it. It is one of the most premium wraps that you can put on a vehicle or a trailer. But also they have some other options outside of this wrap where they can actually do a rhino coating to cover the trailer and make it all black and it's pretty cool. Let's head on inside. Welcome on inside. I'm really excited about showing off this floor plan because this floor plan is the family model. This is the point four, which means it sleeps four people. Both of these beds are large enough for a adult, a full size adult. This top one has a 300 pound capacity. So you're not gonna have any problem getting onto these beds. Well, hello there. Um, this is my first time in the bunk area. And as you can see, I am like, I'm six feet tall and I got plenty of room back here. And I'm also just over 240. I just came back here and realized that we have USB-C and USBs and nice little lights back here. I was thinking this was gonna be way more cramped and it's actually not so bad. I mean, I can kind of lounge and my leg up here and read a book, put my pillow. I'm surprised that I was expecting it to be much tighter and I'm a pretty large person and I feel pretty comfortable in here. My daughter or a child, I think would have plenty of space to come in, go to bed and relax. If you're a little kid, you probably could sit up all the way. So there you have it. That is the bunk bed area. So I'm having a hard time between the 16.4 and the 21.4. They're both really, really cool floor plans. Obviously, if you have two children or two teenagers. This is an awesome setup for a family. The 16.4, you can also sleep four people. That's also a cool setup. You know, I've 
we talked with some people and said, man, you could use this as a storage area. Even if you don't have kids and have grandkids come to visit, you could obviously let the grandkids stay here. You have your two windows and they have the nighttime shades or the screens so the bugs can't come in as well. I really like the step that they've made where it says pause. This is how you can step up to be able to get on the bed. Just above this desk area, you have a television and this can come out and move around and swivel if you're sitting on the couch or you can put it back in its place and have it stowed during transit. It has a clip and it actually clips in and stays pretty tight while traveling. Just underneath the TV area, we have a desk. We've had some people complain about this desk being too shallow. So we talked to Maynard about it and Maynard said, yeah, I agree. And so they actually are putting a new countertop that bevels out farther and gives you more space for the countertop. One of the things that I really, really, really love about the pause is it, they've been so receptive to feedback and making changes to really dial this product in. So the people that are buying it are very, very happy with what they're getting. But I love all these little cubby spots. This is a little space where you can put some stuff in here, cell phones. You also have USB and USB-C ports with 120 volt power and also 12 volt plugs as well. Coming over here, you have some little storage, some drawers to be able to store some stuff. And then this right here is your camera system that I was talking about that you can use to be able to plug in your truck while driving. And you can be able to pull up and see all of the different camera settings. There you have all four. And like I said, you have sound as well. So I can turn the volume down and you can select different screens. You can have the, the door side. We can see the stairs driver's side. It takes a second and it focuses and it's a pretty good picture, but you can go through all of these different camera angles and be able to see if somebody's knocking on the door, you can see who it is, or you can use it while you're driving. Over here, we also have a pretty deep storage area that goes all the way back there. You know, you could put in little cubbies or little bins and have them stack them so that they can have their storage space. So all of the components, um, all like as far as the furnace, water heater, and AC, they're all Truma units. Right here we have the 13,500 BTU Truma air conditioner. This is one of the most efficient 120 volt AC units on the market to date. And it's also extremely quiet. This is on low, so you can turn it up and get a lot more air in here but it's also extremely quiet when it's on low and it's, it's actually dropping the temperature right now, which is really nice. Moving over to this kitchen area, I do wanna show you they have this refrigerator and this is the refrigerator that can open up both ways, this way. Or if you're sitting on the toilet, you need a drink, you can open it up while you're on the toilet, which is very convenient. Also, you have a nice freezer and this is a true 12 volt a refrigerator and freezer which means it works really good in high heat also the depth in here is very deep as you can see like this is a massive a massive fridge i mean my whole arm length fits in there this is a 10.7 cubic refrigerator so almost 11 cubics it's very large uh, that's a uh, most standard refrigerators like the propane ones are going to be uh, probably in between eight to 10 cubic feet would be a large fridge. Now moving over from the fridge, we have a three burner cooktop. This is your Furion and you have a easy ignite button right here that you press. The propane's not turned on and that will ignite that. I love the, the grate because it has a lot of support. So if you put pans on these, they're not like falling off. You have your oven so you can be able to cook and this is a very large oven. You'll be able to fit a good amount of stuff in this oven probably even a turkey the right size turkey that is and then underneath this furion and all of the appliances are like very premium appliances these are what you're going to get in very expensive fifth wheels or motor coaches down below here you can see this pause symbol and this is actually the cold air return which takes the air in and goes through the ducted furnace and then right here we have our dirt devil in the back garage i showed that it had a hose so you, when you plug it in it automatically turns on or if you're sweeping you can kick this with your foot and that sucks the dirt in there 
and there's a bag back in here that you can access and change out. Right above here, we have our Furion microwave. This is a standard residential style microwave, so it's gonna work through your inverter off-grid. Up here, you have an access panel to be able to, you could store some stuff up there or just get to your electrical. Right here, we have some more storage for food or plates or whatever you need. Up here, we have our fusion system, which, and also your Wi-Fi Ranger, and that actually has the ability to have a SIM card so you can be able to get cellular service. We've also integrated this system into a Starlink for some people that were traveling to the Arctic Ocean. So there's some different options. That system allows you to be able to sync to the Garmin and you can be able to control everything. One of the new features is they are installing the Garmin right on the panel here. You can see a nice little setup. Looks like you've got some quick little shortcuts. You can have a calculator if you want that and then you can click RV controls and this has all your system, tells you your battery, 97%. And we've been running the air conditioner for maybe an hour or two. I mean, for sure an hour. And you can go through here, you can control all your lights. This is nice because you can click on that and it does the lights right overhead or you can dim the lights. If you wanna have a nice romantic evening, this is your lights over your bunk beds and they're also dimmable as you can see check this out so you can go nice and you can go dim or you can go all the way bright and have it really nice the other cool thing is like this light right here is your storage light which is in the back which you can't see you can only get access that storage from that door in the rear of the trailer but you can see if those are illuminated you know the lights are on you can turn them on right here or you can turn them on by those buttons this is your rear light storage, but it also gives you a button there that says rear. Or if you want to say all exterior on, boom, that turns all the exterior lights on, or you can say all off. You go through this area, you have your home page. As you can see, the AC is set to 65, and we're currently 69 degrees in here. You can control all of this stuff. This gives you your gauges for your water, gray and black. This is also pretty much mirrored image of what you have on a cell phone. So if you have your cell phone, you can control everything through your cell phone as well. You can also control your max air vent and that gives you your, you should click open and air and then it has different speeds, variable speeds. You go down here, you can control your jacks, your awning, go down here, has your water heater, your water pump, check your tanks. Go to here, you have your solar. As you can see, we're bringing in one amp. It's getting late in the evening, we're in the shade, so the sun is going down. Obviously, there's not a lot of sun at the moment. And then this tells us our inverter's on. We got an AC load because we're pulling, obviously we're running 93 amps right now with the air conditioner, all the lights on the trailer. We're cranking some power out of the trailer right now. Lots and lots of options. Whenever you come and pick up a trailer from ROA, we make sure we spend a ample amount of time to be able to go over all of the different features of the trailers. You know, this is not a how to guide how to operate your trailer. This is more of a, you know, if you're interested in buying a trailer, here are the features, and this is some of the components that you're gonna be working with when you buy and own this trailer. So let's head back over into the bathroom area. One of the things that I wanna point out is all of this stuff. A lot of people ask about this trim, this stuff right here. Everything you see is fiberglass or aluminum. This right here is an aluminum piece, right? Right over here, this trim is all aluminum. This door is aluminum. And this is like the barn door style setup. And it's all aluminum or fiberglass. These walls right here are not paneling. This is a fiberglass with a 3D print on it. The nice thing about having a fiberglass with a 3D print is it's not wallpaper. So if you get this wet, it's not gonna damage it. The cabinets are all aluminum. Very, very expensive and premium filling. The frame is aluminum. The walls, the roof, the construction is all either composites, fiberglass, or aluminum zero wood construction, zero things that can actually rot. None of this can actually rot or like if you get the moisture and the water inside the walls, you're not gonna have swelling and rotting or mold buildup inside of wood. 
because there is no wood, zero wood construction. Even the windows themselves, these frames here are all a, a polymer. They're all, it's plastics. Same with the frame around the window. All of this stuff is all plastic material. What that allows is it, it's, a, it's a better protection against thermal bridging, right? You're not gonna have hot and cold transferring through metal or aluminum. This is, it's not very conductive material. It's the same thing with the actual extrusions that hold the walls together on the trailer. It's all a PVC material, which is similar uh, material as the wall itself. So you're not having difference of, you know, from metal to plastic, which, you know, obviously they conduct differently. You also have the dual pane windows. I mentioned that as well, and the gases in between. So it is very well insulated. These windows, when you open them up, they have some different settings of where you can have it sit. So you go up a little ways and there's a click and it stops right there. If you wanna go up higher, you'll hear another click. And then you wanna go up even higher. You can have it straight through. Lots of clearance and then obviously you can pull the screen down and have protection against the bugs. And then to bring it back down, you just lift it and drop it. It does have a setting where you can have some air flow in here and put some screens down and it gives a little, you know, to fight perhaps condensation or moisture. Obviously you're gonna have a, not as much condensation that you would see on lots of trailers with metal or aluminum, or you can close it all the way and it seals very tight against dust and dirt and any bugs coming in. Coming back over towards the bathroom, I really like this bathroom, the way they've set it up. You do have switches here that turn things on. You have a fantastic vent fan. You can manually open it here, or you just use the Garmin or your phone. Right here we have a porcelain toilet, and uh, it's just a step right here to be able to flush it. Here on ROA, we have the ability to change things on the fly, right? If, if you wanna order and get a different type of toilet, that's something that we would love to assist you and be able to help you. You know, if you want a composting or a dry flush, any of those types of toilets so you don't have to deal with black tanks, that's something that's doable at ROA Off-Road. Okay, coming over here, you have a little space for counter, you know, where you can store stuff when you get to wherever you're camping. Uh, and then down below here, you have some shelves and these do have a lip, so you'll be able to store stuff while you're driving. And then of course, when you get to camp, you can set your stuff out here. You have an outlet over here, so you can be able to have your blow dryer, curling irons, razors, whatever. You'll be able to set them here and have them charging. You have access to be able to turn on your water heater. And just above here, we have a little holder for towels, and then a massive mirror that you can use to be able to get ready in the morning to check your hair and do your makeup, ladies. Over here, we have a towel holder as well for showering. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about this sink area, and I just wanna make a quick note on this sink. In our mini tour, when we were at the show, we may have gotten that sink in there. It was a long, skinny sink and a little faucet right here. Maynard, he took his family from Indiana out to Oregon and kind of toward the west, came down to Moab, did some off-roading with us, really got a good feel for this trailer. You know, he towed it thousands of miles and camped in it for a couple of weeks almost with his family. And he told me, Shane, yeah, you know, we took that sink out and completely just scrapped it. And we went to this larger sink and I was like, why? And he's like, you know, it was just, it was a pain in the butt. You know, when you were trying to wash your hands in it, it would splash everywhere on the back of the wall. He said, it is all fiberglass and composite, so it wasn't gonna hurt anything, but it was just not very convenient. He said, brushing our teeth in it was not comfortable. So we put this bigger sink. This, this is the sink that you see in the 20.3. Not a lot of complaints on it. And now it's really easy to get in here and wash your hands and get ready for the day. And I just say, oh my goodness, this is so, so important because I feel like this happens all the time where a manufacturer will build a trailer and you like go into it and you use it and you're like, man, did these people never camp in the trailer? Like, have they ever even used a trailer? That's not what you're going to experience with the pause because Maynard and ROA, we're out using them, we're camping in them 
we really got a good thumb on our roamers, the customers, the people that buy trailers from us, and they give us the feedback and we're relaying this feedback to pause and they're making the changes. And Maynard is actually out using these trailers with his family and having these experience and realizing, hey, I wanna improve it and make it better for the end user. And they've done that and you can see that with just those simple little details like the sink. Right here we have a nice deep storage to be able to you know, put towels or toilet paper or other miscellaneous things that you might need inside the bathroom. Down here, that's just an, uh, another storage with an access panel. You'll be able to put some stuff in there as well. And then stepping into this shower, these showers are massive showers. I really like these showers. I'm six feet tall and my head's not hitting this. And I, you know, if you were even taller, you could go up into the dome and have plenty of space in here. Really beautiful showers with a nice wand to be able to clean those hard to reach areas in the back. And then just nice places to put some soap for you ladies if you need to shave your leg or if you want to just sit down and take a break. Now, the, the, the thing that everybody wants to know is if you drop a bar of soap while you're showering, can you bend over and can you pick up the soap? It's kind of important to know. So if you imagine I drop a bar of soap, can I bend down and pick it up? Absolutely, easy peasy, no problem. And then the shower right here, this curtain, it kind of bevels out a little ways. And then you have a nice shower curtain. A lot of people say, well, why didn't we do glass? And he said, you know, when we were thinking when you were off-roading, we didn't want a big glass door busting around, you know, or shaking and potentially break inside the shower. So they went with this, but let's head over to the main uh, bed area because they have made some changes in this trailer that you haven't seen on other versions and they can also do these changes on the 20.3 or the 20.2 but let's show you this nice table eating area okay so you grab these poles and they actually go right into these holes and you twist them a little bit pretty simple setup and then the table comes around it is Corian solid surface to match the rest of the trailer and that locks in and clips perfectly right here and if you are a family and you want to be able to eat of course there's some stools that the trailer comes with for the bar stool outside but you can also use them in here and then also the chair that goes for the desk that can also be put out over here and you can be able to sit across from each other and enjoy your dinner there's lots of storage area and space you know this counter space to be able to put things down you can store some stuff over here you have an access panel under here to be able to get to some of your uh, electronic components below me there are also more drawers i'll show you in just a little bit but i want to point out lots and lots of outlets you have 120 outlets right here with some usb c and standard usb and then back over here you have more outlets with more usb c and usbs so you're, you're never gonna go without being able to charge all your necessary devices. You have outlets here. And then back behind the bed, when you're laying down, you have more outlets and USB-C and standard USB as well. If you wanna pull this table off and stow it away, you can obviously put it back in that area. And then these just twist right out. Very simple and easy to make this table. Below here, I want to show you, we have these very nice deep drawers that give you lots and lots of space for, you know, clothing. You can fold your clothing and put this in his and hers uh, wardrobe areas. Moving up here, we have our hanging area where we can put shirts and, and you can you can actually stuff in a lot of shirts in both sides of these his and hers again. And then right here above the bed, you have these windows that open up to the sky, the stars. Obviously, if you don't want that, you can just put the blackouts and sleep in the dark. These lights right over here, these reading lights, you have a blue light and then you can press it again, press and hold, and then it turns on to a reading light. So you have both a reading light and you can point it directionally to where you want it and press press and hold and have it have that night light so you don't disturb your neighbor now obviously if you want to make this into the bed you could set this down and hide it under the bed i'm just going to move it out of the way really quick over here just so i can show you how this goes together 
the trailer comes with these stools and these can go outside to the bar. And these are actually pretty sturdy stools, as you can see. This comes around and then you actually have a button right here that clips it in place. And that gives you the support that you need. And then you grab this mattress. This is the tri-folding mattress and it's super easy to put up. You just grab it like this. And then of course, throw your pillows back there. And you know, you can tuck in the bed a little bit and make it nice and nice and good right there. So there you have it. There's the bed. The neat thing is Paz has listened to us. Uh, some people love this setup because they like how it can flip up into a couch. But some people are like, you know, I just want a stationary bed always made. And so we've asked them, hey, can you just do that? And they said, absolutely. So they made a platform where you can put your mattress of your choice and always leave it there. Then you don't have to deal with this. And then we went to a manufacturer called Moride and we were looking through some of their showroom stuff. And there was this bed that had this lift that was an automatic electric lift that took the bed up and it was pretty cool. And everybody's like, man, why don't you put that in the, in the pause? And now look here, just barely a month or two later. Now we have that lift bed too, as well. These options can be added to any pause. So if you've already bought a 20.3 and you want to get this electric bed set up, we can get that put in for you aftermarket. It's not too hard to add on. You have a lot of different options before, you know, when they first released them, it was one option. Now we have three different variations of this bed where you can do the jackknife, you can do the stationary bed, or you can do the electric motorized lift bed as well. So I love how they've just really been very quick to listen and respond to the marketplace, to our input, and just make it more ideal for the end user because that's kind of what they've really been focused on is what do the end users want more than what they think is the best thing. Before we move too much further, I want to go over the sink. I realized I hit the kitchen, but didn't show you the sink. This is a pretty deep sink, which is nice. I hate it when you have shallow sinks and you can't put anything in it. It's stainless steel and you have a nice faucet that moves around and you can use to spray things off. I love how all of this backsplash, this is all composite or fiberglass materials in the whole trailer. And this is not, like I said, there's no wood. This is not, it's not a wallpaper. This is all a 3D print. So this can get wet and you don't have to worry about mold or mildew or anything like that on this. It's going to last a very long time and you don't need to worry about splashing food or water onto these walls. You just wipe them down and you're gonna be okay. Well, there you have it. The uh, full walk around tour of the all new Paws 21.4. I, I can't express to you enough that, you know, the cameras, the videos, I, I feel like we do a pretty good job. We try really hard to capture what we have behind us, but it's really, really hard until you see it in person. It's just really the videos and the camera don't do it justice. I don't, I, everybody says this, everybody that comes and sees these in person, all of our trailers, I feel like this is a case where they always say, man, you know, until you see it in person, you can't truly, truly appreciate the details, the quality. Uh, you can get a pretty good feel for it and understand what it is. And once again, I mentioned earlier, we have factory tours. We've taken these off-roading. We've tested them like we do with all of our trailers. We go to the factories of all of our manufacturers. We go and take all of our trailers off-road and we really try to test them until you see them. And it's, it's hard to truly see the attention to detail that they've put into these trailers. I'm very, very impressed with Paws and the Palomino company. I'm really happy that they're just, they've really gone above and beyond in every single feature and detail and component that they put into these trailers. So if you have any questions, if you want to actually see these trailers in person, you can reach out to um, our sales coaches. That's at 801 860 0035 that's our main line and that goes to all of our coaches all over the country you can reach out to our south carolina store you call that number and press two for south carolina store and you'll be able to get a hold of somebody and they'll be able to talk to you and help you and guide you on anything related to pause or and or any of our trailers that we may have and that you want to come out and see but i hope you've learned something if you have questions please make them below 
we can go over some details. You know, we're always talking with the manufacturer, visiting them, and, and we've had so much good feedback from the people. And that's where you've seen a lot of the changes. A lot of the design things that have changed has been because people have given us feedback. And Paws has been really receptive to that feedback. So if you do want to see something, if you do feel like, hey, this would be an important thing for me, let us know. Reach out to us and we'll be able to, you know, get that feedback over. And we'll, you might see it in a trailer in the future by what you give us in feedback. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you and everybody that supports us. Hopefully we'll be able to see you on an adventure someday. Hey, it's me again. Sorry we had to pause this video again. And in case you didn't see earlier, we do have some more information on this trailer. If you want to see more info on the brochure, we got some pricing specs, also the floor plan layout, and a 3D tour. It's kind of where you can go in and control and move around and see everything. It's really, really cool. So sorry I had to pause this really quick just to remind you one more time. Go to the link below. Once again, if you're on your television, you're gonna have to go grab your phone or a computer or a tablet, whatever you use, and you'll be able to click on that link. And that's the only way you can get to that at content. You can't get it on our website. It's only in the link below in this video for a limited amount of time. So go check that out and we'll see you again in the future. Um, we can get this playing again, so let's go. Thank you and we'll see you soon, bye-bye.